Hi, I'm Nelson Hill, Electronic Service Team Leader here at Yalabo USA. Today we're going to demonstrate how to use the profiles on the Maggio circulator. So you hit the menu key, press the Use Programmer. You're going to see two options here, Programmer and Timer. We'll go into the Programmer first. Underneath the Programmer menu there is Activate Programmer and Manage Profile. So let's go show the Manage Profile. There are eight profiles that can be programmed with up to 60 steps each. So we'll select profile one. You have several options here. Edit, clear a profile if you have it already programmed, or display, which will give you a graphical display. We'll go into edit. It starts off step one, has a time and a temperature at zeros. We can change the set point from time to a gradient. And then you just select your set point, let's say 25. And then our gradient. Then to add your next step, you click the step plus. Now you'll see it's step two. Let's say we're going to say, uh, stay on set point time this time. Set it for 10 minutes as a hold step. Then again, next step. We'll do a, another time. So now that we've got our profile programmed, if we click the display, it's going to show us the various rises and hold steps that we've programmed in graphically on the display. So now to activate, you have a slider switch here. You have the select the profiles, some other options, you have repeat indefinitely, which would continue to run until you shut it down, or you can have it repeat a certain number of runs. Say you wanted to have it repeat three times. You enter that in there. The final state can be changed from standby, which is what we're in now, to the last set point on the program or the starting set point on the program. You can also program a series, which means that you can have it run the same profile daily, weekly, or you can set a custom. So if you were to want it to run daily, you would set the daily, and then you can use an end date and select a date when you wanted to stop running. I'm just going to select no series. So to activate, once you click the activate, the unit will start and begin running the profile that you've selected. You'll notice in the temperature set point key here, it will say profile one. And down in the bottom, you'll see the graph flashing, which also indicates that it's running the profile. And it also shows you the step and how many uh, minutes it's expecting to go. So if for any reason you wanted to pause a profile, you press the flashing symbol and you can pause, you can stop it, or you can edit it on the fly. So if we wanted to pause it, now that changes to yellow, indicating that the profile's been paused. 
and your timer down here starts uh, or stops running. You can resume and it'll go back to flashing green. Or again, like I said, you can stop it from there as well. The other feature that's shown here, the timer, can be set up to activate at a certain date and time. So you can have it immediately or at a specific date and time. And a specific hour. So this would be five o'clock in the morning, let's say zero eight. And then you can set a set point. The final state could be standby, last set point, or the start set point again. And your duration can be also set. So if you activate this, it will start on 10.30 at 8.30 in the morning. So we'll go back to the series. So if you select a custom series, you can select individual days of the week that you want the unit to run on. You can select an end date. And that is how you program and start your profiles in the Maggio circulators.